from Hollywood, it's the John Williams Show. And here's your host, John Williams. Good evening, everybody. We have a great show lined up tonight. How many abolitionists does it take to screw in a light bulb? None, because the light bulb wasn't invented yet. Hey, if all the oceans dried up in the world, what would Neptune say? I don't really have a notion. Hey, who's the greatest chicken killer in Shakespeare? Macbeth, because he did murder most foul. Hey, Danny, why don't you tell him who's coming on the show tonight? Well, tonight, John, we have a very special guest, mid-19th century abolitionist and reformer, William Lloyd Garrison, author of The Liberator and co-founder of the American Anti-Slavery Society. He's also gone on quite a diet, lost a few years of age, and been to see the plastic surgeon since this photo was taken. Thank you, Danny. How are you doing today, Mr. Garrison? Nobody cares how I'm doing. Okay, um, why don't you start out by telling us about your early reforming career? Well, first, I worked for a newspaper called the Newburyport Herald, which was used to abolish slavery. And then I was appointed editor of the National Philanthropist, which supported temperance. Interesting. Now, Mr. Garrison, you are most known for your weekly newspaper, The Liberator. Tell us a little bit about it. You're telling me you don't know what The Liberator is? The Liberator is a paper, newspaper that comes out every Friday. And every Friday, people love it. And they also hate it. And it m makes me well known for my anti-slavery acts. Mr. Garrison, you co-founded the American Anti-Slavery Society. What is the an American Anti-Slavery Society? Well, obviously, it was a society that worked to abolish slavery. What else would it be? Wow. Like a boss. Hey, I bet you guys didn't know, but... Mr. Garrison here is a wanted man. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I, I criticized churches in the South for supporting slavery. Why the heck would you support slavery? And then Georgia didn't really like that. They put a $5,000 bounty on my head. Have you ever had a $5,000 bounty on your head? No, I didn't think so. Tell me about your work with other reformers. Well, I have attended many anti-slavery society meetings where reformers such as Henry David Thoreau attended also. And there, I burned down a copy of the Constitution because it was unjust and I hate slavery. And I also attended George Thompson's speech at the Anti-Slavery Hall in Boston, where afterwards, some slavery goons tied a noose around my neck and drug me through town like a rag doll. Wow. I'm sorry, but that's all the time we have for today. But tune in next week for our very special guest, Frederick Douglass, on The John Williams Show.